Hello and welcome back to the CNS Pharmacology Masterclass where we discuss all the medications that work on the central nervous system and here we will talk about another analgesic medication and that is the nefapam which is also known as the acupan so in this video we will talk about a definition mechanism of action therapeutic uses adverse effects and contraindications of the nefapam you can always skip to other parts of this video using the video chapters in the video description and regarding the picture here it is for the chemical structure of the nefapam the black spheres are for the carbon atoms the white spheres are for the hydrogen atoms the blue sphere is for the nitrogen atom and the red sphere is for the oxygen atom so let's start with an overview of this medication so the scientific name is nefopam and the most famous trade name for this drug is the acupan it's a non-opioid centrally acting means that it works on the brain and it is an analgesic which means that it relieves the pain and it was originally synthesized in 1960. So regarding the pharmacokinetics of this medication, so the nafapam is available in oral and intravenous formulas. The oral formula is well absorbed but with low bioavailability and after absorption it is bound by 70% to plasma proteins. So after the drug reaches the blood, 70% of the dose will be bound to plasma proteins and the rest is distributed to the tissues, especially the brain where it exerts its effects. It is metabolized by the liver and executed through urine and bile. And the elimination half-life for this medication is from three to eight hours. Regarding the mechanism of action of the nefapam, so it acts on the brain to relieve the pain through inhibition of the reuptake of the serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, and it also reduces the glutamate signaling. So it works through inhibition of reuptake of many different neurotransmitters like the serotonin, the norepinephrine, the dopamine, and it also works on the glutamate signaling by reducing that. It has no antibiotic or anti-inflammatory activity, so if you compare it to the nesides, nesides have uh, analgesic and antibiotic and anti-inflammatory properties, while the nefapam has only analgesic properties, it doesn't have antibiotic or anti-inflammatory properties. Now let's talk about the therapeutic uses of the nefapam. So it is used to treat moderate to severe pain. So it is a pretty uh, potent analgesic medication. So that is why it is used for moderate to severe pain in comparison with paracetamol. Paracetamol is used for mild to moderate, while the nefapam is used for moderate to severe type of pain. It is more potent analgesic than aspirin. And compared to morphine, 20 milligrams of nefapam gives about the same analgesia as 10 milligrams of morphine. Uh, so morphine is two times stronger than the nefapam. And this means that the nefapam is actually a very potent analgesic medication. And there is no risk of respiratory depression in nefapam. So that's an advantage against morphine. And also there is a lot of side effects to morphine and compared to nefapam, there is only a little. Nefapam is also used to combat severe hiccups. It also used for that and it is used for prevention of shivering during surgery or recovery from surgery. Now let's talk about the adverse effects of the nefapam. So those include sweating, dizziness, and nausea, especially at higher doses. And nefapam also precipitates seizures in epilepsy patients. Uh, thus, it is contraindicated in these patients. And it may lead to urinary retention 
and headache and also it leads to tachycardia which is when used for angina patients it aggravates the angina so it is contraindicated in the angina patient and it also leads to a pinkish type of rash now let's talk about the contraindications of the nephabam so it is contraindicated in epilepsy patients and convulsive disorders in general and it is also contraindicated in myocardial infarction because it leads to tachycardia as we mentioned and it is also contraindicated in patients who are being treated with monoamine oxidase inhibitors and tricyclic antidepressants uh, because there is a risk of serotonin syndrome or hypertensive crisis so remember that the nofapam uh, lead to inhibition of neurotransmitters reuptake and the monoamine oxidase inhibitors and the tricyclic antidepressants also lead to the same thing they also lead to inhibition of the reuptake of many neurotransmitters as well and this may lead to one of these transmitters level being too high that it lead to uh, one of these syndromes so either hypertensive crisis or serotonin syndrome finally let's talk about the overdose to this medication so overdose manifests as convulsions hallucinations tachycardia and hypertension uh, nephapalm overdose may lead to death so it is important to manage uh, the symptoms of these patients the treatment is mainly supportive by limiting the drug absorption by the activated charcoal so you give the patient activated charcoal to inhibit the absorption and you also manage the tachycardia by giving the patient beta blockers and with that we're at the end of this video thank you guys for watching please make sure to like this video and subscribe and if you want to support more you can buy subscribing to the patreon link provided in the description of this video thank you for watching and peace